Hi everyone, today we're going to look at how to configure Teleport to provide secure access to Windows desktops. Now previously we required an Active Directory domain in order to do this, but now with the release of Teleport 12, you can also access Windows desktops without the requirement of Active Directory. And we'll be working through the steps here in our documentation, so if you go to goteleport.com slash docs, and then down to Desktop Access, open this up, and click on Getting Started to follow along with me. Now there are a few prerequisites to get started. First, you'll need a running Teleport cluster. Please note that for this non-AD integration, you will need an enterprise license. For open source Teleport, consider integrating Teleport with Active Directory for desktop access. There's a link to the Active Directory documentation right below getting started. And if you're not sure how to set up a Teleport cluster, then scroll up to Try Out Teleport, click on Linux Server, and this article will walk you through that. So we have a running Teleport cluster. Next, you'll need a Linux server to run the Teleport desktop access service on. You can reuse an existing server running any other Teleport instance. We're gonna create a new one in this tutorial just for clarity. And finally, you obviously need a Windows server. And with that out of the way, let's move on to step one. So step one is to prepare Windows. In this section, we'll import the Teleport CA file to your Windows system. So to do that, you need to run this tcuddle command and tcuddle is the administrative CLI of Teleport. And I'll run this on the server that's actually running the Teleport cluster. So I'm gonna SSH into that and run this command. I'm gonna to need to run this with sudo, so let me get the full path of tcuddle. And let me copy this command. And sudo user local bin, and I'm gonna paste my command here. So this will export the certificate. So if I do an ls, I'll see my certificate file here. Next, you'll need to take that certificate and copy it to your Windows system, which I've already done. After that certificate is on your Windows system, then you need to install the Teleport service for Windows. So from the Windows system, download the Teleport Windows Auth setup, extract the exe from the archive, and run it. When prompted, select that certificate from the previous step. Once complete, reboot the system. So let's copy this link. And on my Windows system, I'm going to open up a browser, paste in that link. And here's the auth setup zip file. So I'll click on that. Open it. I'm going to extract this into its own folder. And run this exe file. So I get this prompt to connect to this machine using Teleport. The installer will one, install the Teleport authentication package, two, import the Teleport CA certificate, and three, disable NLA. All of these steps are required, proceed, yes. And it's gonna prompt me for the Teleport CA certificate. So I'm gonna grab that and select it. Teleport authentication package installed successfully, restart is required, restart now, okay. And that's it. That's all you have to do on your Windows server. So we're done with step one. Step two is install the Teleport desktop service. So on your local system, authenticate it to your Teleport cluster, which I'm just gonna SSH into my Teleport cluster instance. You'll generate a short-lived join token, and then you'll copy that token to your Linux host where you're gonna run that desktop service on, which we don't have set up yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch a new instance and get this Linux machine set up. I'm gonna call it desktop test, Amazon Linux. My instance type, I'll leave as a T2 micro. I'll select a key pair, and I'm just gonna choose a subnet, give it a public IP, select a security group, and launch. And while that's launching, I'm gonna to go to my teleport instance and the step was to generate a short-lived join token. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it to generate that token. And I need to run this with sudo. And here's the invite token. This token will expire in 60 minutes. So let me copy this. And then I'll SSH into this Linux instance that I just created. 
and I'm just going to use EC2 Instance Connect. And we need to copy the token to this Linux host at slash temp slash tokens. Let me do that. sudo vi temp token and just paste in that token. Save it. Next, you need to install Teleport on that Linux host where you're going to run the desktop service. So I'm running Amazon Linux 2, so I'll copy these commands in. Add the repo. And sudo yum install teleport. I'll do a dash y to skip the prompts. And all I'm doing here is just installing teleport. Once that's complete, we need to create an etsy teleport.yaml file and configure it for desktop access. So let's do sudo vi etsy slash teleport.yaml. And we can start out by just pasting in this information. This is our teleport configuration. We don't need an auth service, proxy service, SSH service. We don't need any of that. We just need to update these fields here. So I'm going to erase the node name. We don't need that. My proxy server, this is going to be the address of my proxy server. And my server is running here. So I'm going to copy this address and paste that in for proxy server. My auth token is in that location. And the last thing I need to do is just add the IP address to my non-AD host. So let me just get the IP address of my Windows server and paste that here. Once you have that configured, just save this. And next you'll run sudo systemctl start teleport. This starts the teleport service. So let's do that. And I have a misspelling system CTL. Let's make sure that's running correctly. That is. And with all that complete, we should have the desktop showing in air teleport portal. So if I come under desktops, I now have this listed as a desktop without the requirement of active directory. So back in my tutorial, next, you need to configure Windows access. So remember, with Teleport, we have RBAC. So you can add the Windows instance, but you can't access it unless you have the right role with the right permissions. So we need to create a role. I already have one in here. If I go under Management and Roles, I have a role set up called Windows Desktop Service. If I click Edit, you can see that under Windows Desktop Labels, this is all labels, which gives me access to all of the Windows desktops. And then the Windows Desktop Login, I have the administrator login. And then, of course, you want to apply the role to your proper user, which is already assigned to me. So I should be good to access this desktop. And to do so, just go to Connect. And you'll see here I have access to the administrator account. So click on that to open our desktop. And there we have a successful connection. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments or consider joining our community Slack at goteleport.com slash Slack.